Hi again, AI adventurers, and welcome back to the channel. Let's dive deep into the latest and greatest in the world of artificial intelligence. And folks, today we've got a major drop from a titan in the game, NVIDIA. They've just unleashed a brand new open source large language model, and trust me, this one is making waves. It's called Llama 3.1 Nematron Ultra 253B V1. Yeah, I know it's a mouthful. We'll probably call it Nematron Ultra for short, but the long name hints at something big. It's built on Meta's powerful Llama 3.1, but Nvidia has worked some serious magic here. The headline? This model is apparently outperforming competitors that are more than twice its size in key areas. We're talking serious power, serious efficiency, and guess what? It's open source. So if you're curious about how Nvidia is shaking up the LLM landscape, what makes this Nematron Ultra tick, how it stacks up against the competition like DeepSeek, and what this means for you, whether you're a developer, a researcher, or just an AI geek like me, then you're in the right place. Grab your coffee, settle in, and don't forget to hit that like button down below if you're ready to explore the future of AI with me. Let's get into it. All right, first things first, this Nematron Ultra isn't just a one-off. NVIDIA is actually building out a whole Nematron family of AI models. Think of it like different tiers designed for different jobs. They've got Nano, designed for accuracy on your computer, maybe even edge devices. Think smaller, efficient intelligence. Then there's Super. This one's built for the really heavy lifting, complex reasoning tasks, optimized for massive data centers. And our star today, Ultra. NVIDIA says this delivers the greatest agent accuracy for complex systems, also optimized for multi-GPU setups in data centers. The common thread? These models are laser-focused on reasoning capabilities. We're talking postgraduate-level scientific thinking, advanced math, coding prowess, following complex instructions, and even calling tools, basically getting AI agents to think and act more autonomously. Okay, now let's zoom in on the main event, Llama 3.1 Nematron Ultra 253B. This is a dense model, meaning all its 253 billion parameters are active during inference, unlike mixture of experts or MOE models where only parts are used at a time. Remember that number, 253 billion parameters. NVIDIA actually first teased this model back at their GTC conference in March, and the hype has been building. Now, they've delivered. Open weights and data. This is huge. NVIDIA has put the model code, the trained weights, and the post-training data right up on Hugging Face. This means the community can really dig in, build on it, fine-tune it, and deploy it. Massive for innovation and accessibility. Reasoning on-off modes. This is super clever. Developers can literally tell the model whether to go into deep reasoning mode for complex tasks or just give a more direct, faster answer. Why? Because deep reasoning takes more compute power. This switch lets you optimize for performance and cost. Imagine using less energy when you don't need the AI to ponder the meaning of life, right? Genius! Okay, let's talk about the competition. One of the biggest claims NVIDIA is making is that Nematron Ultra punches way above its weight class, especially against models like DeepSeek R1. Now, DeepSeek R1 is a beast in its own right. It's a state-of-the-art MOE model with a whopping 671 billion parameters. Remember, Nematron Ultra has 253 billion. That means DeepSeek has more than 2.5 times the parameters. Normally, you'd expect the bigger model to dominate, right? Well, check this out. GPQA, or Graduate Level Google Proof Q&A, tests complex reasoning. Nematron Ultra scores 76.01% versus DeepSeek R1 71.5%. Advantage, Nematron. IF eval, instruction following. How well does it follow complex instructions? Nematron Ultra hits 89.45% versus DeepSeek R1's 83.3%. Advantage, Nematron. Live code bench or coding tasks. Nematron Ultra gets 66.31% versus DeepSeek R1's 65.9%. It's close, but advantage Nematron. Wow! Despite being less than half the size parameter-wise, Nematron Ultra is taking the lead in crucial areas like reasoning and following instructions. Now, to be fair, DeepSeek R1 does still hold an edge in some specific math benchmarks. On Amy 25, tough math problems, DeepSeek gets 79.8% versus Nematron 72.5%, and it slightly edges out on Math 500, 97.3% versus 97%. 
So while DeepSeq is still a math whiz, these results strongly suggest that NVIDIA's dense, smaller model can match or even outperform larger MOE models on general reasoning and instruction alignment. That's a massive statement about model architecture and training efficiency. So the big question is, how? How did NVIDIA make a 253 billion parameter model compete with a 671 billion parameter giant? It comes down to smart design and training. Neural Architecture Search, or NAS. NVIDIA used AI to help design the AI. They used NAS to customize the architecture, finding structural tweaks to optimize the performance, and architectural changes. They made some interesting modifications compared to standard transformer models, things like omitting certain attention layers, fusing feed-forward networks, or FFNs, and using variable compression ratios for those FFNs. What does all that tech jargon mean? It means they found ways to reduce the model's memory footprint and computational needs without killing the quality of its output. And here's the kicker. These optimizations allow Nematron Ultra to run efficiently on a single 8x NVIDIA H100 GPU node. That makes deployment in data centers more feasible and potentially more cost-effective compared to models needing vast amounts of hardware. Plus, it's ready for future hardware, like the B100 and Hopper architectures, running in efficient BF16 and FP8 precision modes. Architecture is only part of the story. The training process was also incredibly sophisticated. NVIDIA used a multi-stage post-training pipeline after starting with the strong Llama 3.1 base. Step 1. Supervised Fine-Tuning, or SFT. They fine-tuned the model specifically on domains like math, code generation, chat interactions, and using external tools, making it good at specific, useful tasks. Step 2. Reinforcement Learning, or RL. They used an advanced technique called Group Relative Policy Optimization, or GRPO. Think of this as intensely training the model to get even better at following instructions precisely and improving its reasoning skills. And step three, knowledge distillation and continuous pre-training. The model was refined using knowledge distillation on 65 billion tokens, then underwent more pre-training on another 88 billion tokens. That's a lot of data refinement. They used diverse data sets like FineWeb, BuzzV 1.2, and Dolma. And interestingly, they used a mix of public data and synthetically generated data, including prompts specifically designed to teach the model how to switch between its standard and reasoning modes. Very clever. Remember that reasoning on-off switch we talked about? Let's look at the impact it has. NVIDIA shared some benchmarks showing the difference, and it's pretty dramatic. Math 500. Standard mode gets 80.4%. Turn reasoning on, 97.0%. Boom! Amy 25, tough math. Standard mode struggles at 16.67%. Reasoning on, 72.5%. That's a massive leap. Live code bench, or coding. Standard mode gets 29.03%. Reasoning on, 66.31%. More than double the performance. And GPQA, or reasoning Q&A. Standard mode gets 56.6%. Reasoning on, 76.01%. You can see it right there. Enabling reasoning mode unlocks significantly higher performance on complex tasks. The beauty is you only engage that extra compute power when the task demands deep thought. For simpler queries, you can run it lean and mean in the standard mode. Flexibility and power. Okay, let's talk nuts and bolts for the devs and builders watching. Token length. The benchmarks were run with a sequence length of 32,000 tokens but the model supports inputs and outputs up to a massive 128,000 tokens. That's a huge context window. Integration. It's compatible with the popular Hugging Face Transformers library, version 4.48.3 or later recommended. Controlling reasoning. You control the reasoning mode via system prompts. NVIDIA also gives recommendations for decoding. Use temperature sampling, temp 0.6, top P 0.95 for creative slash reasoning tasks and greedy decoding for more deterministic outputs. Multilingual. It's not just English. It has capabilities in German, French, Italian, Portuguese, Hindi, Spanish, and Thai. Nice bonus. And use cases. Where can you use this? All the usual suspects building advanced chatbots, powering AI agent workflows, retrieval augmented generation or RAG systems, and sophisticated code generation tools. And here's a critical piece. 
it's released under the NVIDIA Open Model License, governed by the Llama 3.1 Community License Agreement. Bottom line, it's ready for commercial use. Yes, you can build products and businesses on this powerful model. Of course, NVIDIA rightly emphasizes responsible AI development. Teams using Nematron Ultra should evaluate it carefully for safety, bias, and alignment within their specific application. Always important. Before we wrap up, remember that Nematron Ultra fits into NVIDIA's broader AI strategy. They're not just dropping models, they're building an ecosystem. NVIDIA Nemo, their framework for customizing AI models, building agents, setting up RAG, etc. NVIDIA NIM, microservices for deploying these models efficiently and reliably in enterprise settings. And NVIDIA Blueprint, pre-built workflows and reference applications, like digital humans or RAG systems, to accelerate development. They want to provide the models and the tools to build and deploy AI applications end-to-end. -end. So what's the takeaway? The release of Llama 3.1 Nematron Ultra is a genuinely significant moment. NVIDIA has delivered an incredibly powerful and efficient, dense model that challenges the dominance of larger MOE architectures in key reasoning and instruction-following tasks. Its smaller footprint, the clever reasoning on-off capability, and crucially its open-source nature with a commercial-friendly license make it a seriously compelling option for developers, researchers, and businesses worldwide. This is a big step in democratizing access to cutting-edge AI. But what do you think? Is Nematron Ultra a game-changer? Are you impressed by its performance given its size? Were you aware of the whole Nematron family and NVIDIA's ecosystem play? Let me know your thoughts, your hot takes, your questions down in the comments below. I really want to hear from you on this one. If you found this deep dive valuable, please smash that like button. It really helps the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so you don't miss our next AI adventure. Thanks so much for watching. Stay curious, keep building, and I'll catch you in the next video.